When we think of the joy that's found at Christmas, it's, it's hard to look past one of our great anthems, the, one of the carols that we sing at this time of year. Joy to the world, the Lord has come. Let earth receive her King. And, and often when I'm singing that song, it's, it's really personal. Yes, the joy that's found because of what Jesus has done for me, that the God of the universe has made a way for my sins. And, and that's good, we should sing joyfully about that. And yet that's just part of the picture. It's a really small idea of what this joy is talking about. That all of creation is looking forward to Jesus' return. The the most often repeated line in that song is, let heaven and nature sing. And that idea goes back to the very first mention of Christmas, the promise of it, or if we wanna say the first Christmas carol since it's written as a poem. In Genesis 3, starting in verse 17, it talks about, well, the ground being cursed, and thorns and thistles, and eating uh, the yield of the earth by the sweat of our brow. And I know that doesn't sound joyful or particularly Christmassy, but right before that's mentioned, we hear the promise of Christmas. Genesis 3.15 says, I will put enmity between you, Satan, and the woman. Between your offspring and her offspring, he shall bruise your head, and you shall bruise his heel. The idea is that as we see the effects of sin over all of creation, that everything is feeling the effects of Genesis 3, the serpent crusher is promised, who's gonna come to bring restoration and joy to all things. And that's what we've been seeing in our series in the book of Revelation, the exaltation of those who persevere, that Jesus is crowned as king, and yet all of creation made new, all of creation rejoicing that Jesus has come. And maybe this is a time of year where it's hard for us to feel the joy of Christmas that we don't often feel like exalting. Well, maybe one of the ways that we can better see the joy, the fullness of it, is to look outside. Or if I could be so bold in this very mild winter that we've had to go outside and just look around you. What do you see? You probably see trees and mountains and other people and things that people have made and and grass and leaves on the ground and bushes and, and just the thought that everything in this world has seen the effects of sin, Genesis 3 takes, uh, tells us. And yet everything in this world is on the precipice of praise. This whole creation is just getting their voice warmed up to sing in exaltation and joy. And in those moments that we don't feel that at the season, look around and think about the fact that all of this is being made new that the joy to the world becomes the joy of the world as we see face to face the one that we're anticipating, this Jesus who has come and made all things new. We invite you to continue to be with us as we are looking to this Jesus and the joy that's found in him. You can find more information at calvarybible.com slash Christmas as we focus it on the joy that's found in Jesus.